If you wonder why there's so much nominalism in the churches, one reason is because we have not understood what receiving Christ means. Here's a way to describe the problem. Many people, these people are in grave danger, so test yourself, receive him not as supremely valuable and thus savored, but they receive him as sin forgiver because they hate not being guilt free, not because they love Jesus. They receive him as rescuer from hell because they don't want to burn. They receive Him as healer because they love being disease-free. They receive Him as protector because they love being safe. They receive Him as prosperity giver because they love money. They receive Him as creator because it would be better to have an orderly and personal universe. They receive Him as Lord of history because order and purpose in the universe, history is steadying. They don't receive him as supremely, personally valuable to them. They don't receive him as more glorious, more beautiful, more wonderful, more satisfying than everything in the universe, which is in the gospel shown most clearly. They don't prize him, treasure him, cherish him, delight in him. They just, they just treat him like, oh, if I come up with one here, just, you know, just you know, something tattered. We're something tattered. Here, this is kind of tattered. There you go. Here he is. So am I going to heaven? Of course I'm going to heaven. Look, I get the ticket. I said, hey, I signed the card. I prayed the prayer. I keep it in my wallet. I'll sit on it. I, I pull it out if you want to know about it. I pull it out. But Love this? Cherish this? Savor this? That's stupid. It's a tattered card. I just want to go to heaven. That's all. That's what our churches, I fear, might be filled with. 